Okay, today we're going to walk the, the Green Lake Road, which is alongside this mountain here. Got the base of it here. We'll start in right about here and uh, walk along the base of this mountain right there. That's today's walk. I can go out as far as I can. I don't think I can go as far as Medavigi. Probably in about a mile or two, max. So let's see how it works with a walker. It's November 28th and I'm going out Silver Bay and I'm going to walk out the Green Lake Road. That's what I'm going to do today. Nice morning. Lots of fresh snow up in the hills. Fresh snow in the hills and a little bit of fog and low clouds. Perfect day. Huh. Oh. Somebody dropped some garbage or fish down here. Look at all the ravens. Holy smokes. Yep. Somebody dropped off a deer carcass. Look at all the ravens. <laughs> Everybody's here for a lunch. Boy, that's a big raven there. Hey, that one's bigger than most of the others put together. What do you think of that, huh? Huh. Yeah, somebody dropped off some deer they got, backbones and hide. I don't see any sign of any berry in here, but one of the ravens are having a ball, aren't they? On this side, we got a bunch of a bunch of bald eagles. One over here, and another one up in the tree over here, and I see some back in the trees back here, a little bit farther. <laughs> yeah, it's lunchtime for everybody around here today. Well, I've made it out to Heron Cove a little bit farther and we'll stop the truck and go through the gate and hike up the road. What a beautiful morning this morning. Yeah, salmon come up this little creek right here in Heron Cove and I used to come out here at the mouth of the creek and years ago and fly fish for uh, Dolly Varden in the spring. You can catch quite a few here from about May through, well not May, but I mean probably end of March I start fishing. You can fish until about June. Got quite a few of them out here. Ah, we got a little dipper out here this morning. Water oozel feeding at the mouth of the creek. It's picking up something pieces of dead fish or salmon eggs or whatever you can find ah we got another one sitting on this log over here must be a parrot living here Yeah, look at that. Well, that's volcanic ash, but it's yellow, and the stuff over by my place is red. So this is out of a different eruption, or we're farther away from the mountains, so maybe this stuff fell farther away. Yep, that's volcanic ash, Mount Ishkam area. Yeah, this is that uh, 
rock I find sometimes in Sitka. It's, it's made up of all kinds of tiny little rocks, rocks, conglomerate. I don't know if that was all glacier silt. It was all compressed. The rocks aren't really rounded, I find, and they're jagged, so, in this one, find it all over the place. Yeah, this volcanic ash is coming off the slopes of Bear Mountain, way up there. Coming down in here, the rock slides. Wow, here's some more volcanic ash come off that mountain, slid down. Look at that. Heavy, rough stuff. That's interesting. You can see where it fell and landed here on something. It got washed down off the side of Bear Mountain. This really neat ash around here. That's really thick, heavy, heavy stuff. That flew a long ways. Ha! Look at that. Must be some iron up there and some of that rock coming down off this mountain. Well, there's the quartz. The goldless quartz. You need to just come out here and look for rock. Just some good stuff out here. All come right down off Bear Mountain. Right up through there. Yeah, there's some more of that. Volcanic ash, yellow stuff. No, I guess I probably saw it before, I didn't pay much attention. I'm taking that chunk home. That's interesting. Well, I've made it to the gate on the Green Lake Road that I'm going to walk. Green Lake Hydraulic Project, yeah, 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 trail, hmm, open to the public without discrimination. No, that's not true. Only certain individuals get to go through this gate. Anyway, when this project was first built and designed, and I talked to the architect one day who designed it, this road and this uh, dam project, he told me that uh, up at the lake there was supposed to be a city park. Now somehow that got forgotten, and a road built with Public money has now become a private road for certain businesses and privileged individuals who have a key to the gate. I guess I shouldn't complain because they're going to let plebes and commoners like me, the unwashed of the world, the disabled, and a useless eater to go through the gate over here and walk the road. So I guess I shouldn't complain. I'll get off my high horse, but I'm still pissed off about this. The way it was designed and it never became what it was supposed to be. Okay, so, oops, so we're going to go through the gate. Uh, no, we're not. The gate is not wheelchair accessible. It's not handicap accessible. Golly, maybe somebody ought to sue them. Anyway. I'm going to go on up here anyway and see if I can get through. Well, I made it through the gate. That's because I can partially fold this thing up. And somebody in a wheelchair will never make it. Well, let's head down the road see what we can see. Ah, the road's nice and smooth in most places. Uh, I do have to mention that about 10 years ago I was in town. And I met a guy came in on a cruise ship and he asked me, how do you like the city park that is up at Green Lake Dam? And I said, what park? And it turned out he was the architect of the Green Lake Dam. Whole project up here. And he says it was supposed to be a public road and it's up at Green Lake, the big flat area. And I've been up there, I've walked up there years ago and that was supposed to be the city park. So somehow we lost our city park, we lost our road access, 
and for years it's been a road for the sick of good old boy club anyway it's no use complaining because this is how things are done everywhere isn't it the rich and the powerful are always lording over the poor now so far it's been really quiet on this road kind of like it all you do is hear the water lapping down there we're up Silver Bay here so uh, you know there's not kind of an ocean swell or heavy waves or storm or nothing so you just barely hear the ocean lapping the rocks anyway my well, light meter is kind of weird on this whole camera in it anyway let's we'll just keep going up this trail here and see what we find I'm going to call it a trail because essentially it is a, a trail now for pedestrians. Too bad though they couldn't get wheelchairs up here because that gate's too narrow. Somebody fix it. There are lots of views of the ocean and uh, the bay and uh, cove here and, and the mountains. It is a very scenic walk if you're looking for long range views. Probably one of the best places to walk in Sitka. The road is practically level the whole way. Yeah, a few chuck holes, but other than that, it's well compact. It'd be easy for someone to bring a wheelchair in here. Well, if they get through the damn gate. But anyway, even around it, you couldn't get around that gate with a wheelchair. Anyway, I used to hike in here. What was it? Man, it was 20, 25 years ago. We used to go up here another quarter mile or so and hike up the side of Bear Mountain here. Climbed to what we call the frost level. And that's when we first started seeing frost or snow on the ground. And then we started hunting because that's where the deer were. They were moving up and down with the frost level. Anyway, it was a lot of fun hunting up there. Especially if you didn't have a boat, you could still get someplace. And yeah, another sign of bureaucratic waste. Uh, they come in here and they cut the alders away from the power poles go up to the power station up Green Lake and they just leave all the alders laying here all over the place alongside the road they're everywhere just rotting away man they'd have made us some wonderful firewood for a lot of people in Sitka but they're not allowed to have it when you get out here away you get views back into Silver Bay and there's uh, the fish processing plants and a lot of the commercial areas now, industrial areas of Sitka. Used to be the site of the Alaska Pulp Mill here. It was right when I first came to town. It was a really big tall building. I think it I think it was four stories. It could have been five in places. It really stuck out. Anyway, it's now an industrial park for Sitka. That's useful. Nice views of it from here. Ah, damn, all that wasted wood up there. Along the road here. Could have been my fireplace. And my wood stove. Oh my goodness. It's a long ways up there. Oh my gosh, what a waste. All that firewood. It was right next to the road. Gosh, enough firewood here to last people for years. Where the hill is falling down, I can see where there's, oh, there must be seven, eight feet more of volcanic ash. Some of that yellow stuff, some red stuff. Wow, there's been a lot of ash got caught back up in this bay. It's all over the place. I got my fancy GoPro here. Oh, that's quite a little bit of a hill there, but boy, bad. I've been on trails far worse than that hill. So we just keep working our way up along here. It's such a nice day, nice and sunny. I had like three days of pouring rain. Just got tired of it. 
finally broke a little bit, but there's more rain coming. Yeah, like I mentioned before, there's lots and lots of lots and lots of long distance views from this road. Really quiet. I haven't seen anybody on here yet today. I'm surprised. Usually you'd think you'd see somebody riding a bike or something. There's all kinds of water coming off Bear Mountain here, so you don't have to worry about finding something to drink. Well, <laughs> this is where we used to go up the hill. There's a better trail here than there ever was. Looks like a few deer track though. Oh yeah, look at them. Oh yeah. Oh, some bear sign too. Yep, I climbed this thing. Went up in here about, oh, usually over a thousand feet. We usually went up between one and two thousand feet this time of year. That was the frost level. Yeah, somebody's cleared it all out. Some people used to trap Martin stuff back in here too. Yeah, this is it. This is where we went up the hill. I'll be doggone. This is better shape than it was when we were using it. Of course, hardly anybody went up there before. There's a lot more people in town that can't afford boats, so they, they can go hunt up here. All you gotta do is get up high enough. Some deer coming down. Probably coming down to the beach here, down below. At low tide, they like to eat the little morsels off the beach. Yeah, that's nice. We will go that far. Well, yeah, I'm gonna keep going. Yeah, there's the old rock wall. The trail I was. You go up the mountain. You can go up there about a thousand feet, and there are trails traversing across. They're game trails where bear and deer and bear for centuries. Some of them are really wide. It's amazing, but. All along the top of that rock wall up there used to be a lot of deer beds because they get sit in the sun up there. But it's grown up a lot now. I don't see as many open spots as there was. But that's it, yeah. We go on up in there. I think the highest I ever went was about 2,000 feet. Just, just as the trees were running out, we were going in the alpine. I've never tried going up for goats, other people have. Yeah, trees have grown up quite a bit on the ocean side, so you don't get the views out into the bay like I used to. A lot of these trees have really gotten higher since I've been here last. Yeah, it better be pretty around here when everything freezes up. It's all full of ice. Probably a lot of ice around here then. Water running down this hill all over the place. Uh, yeah, I've been clear back up top there. It's kind of a flat little area above this falls and a little trail top of this ridge up here where all those rock cliffs are. I used to see a lot of deer back right up in this area. Huh. Here's some interesting rock I found. Huh. There's chunks of uh, Mikey in there. Yeah. Big chunks of mica. Like a granite. Come off top of Bear Mountain up here somewhere on the avalanche chute. Yeah, that's really interesting. I know there's garnets in southeastern places. Yeah. More and more, just alders knocked down. Maybe some hemlock. 
along the power line here. It's really sad, you know. They could have contracted not just to cut it down, but to cut it up in firewood. And then the city could have sold it to the people for firewood and made money. Teeth are crying out loud. I just don't understand these people. Just waste. Seems like our whole country is based on waste. Well, who cares? They just print more paper money, I guess. What a shame. Uh, big falls up there coming down. Yeah, baby, pretty in here when it all freezes over. Well, icicles. I'll have to come back when it's freezing. Yeah, all along here. Up in here. Clear over there. Are these really big, deep rock fissures in the side of this mountain. It's going that way too. I don't want to scare anybody, but there's a report online. It's a geological report. Well, you can see it all split up in there too. There's a geological report online on Bear Mountain, Sitka, Silver Bay. Uh, if you got the <laughs> intestinal fortitude, you might want to read it. This mountain is one of the most dangerous for slides and potential slides than any other mountain in all southeast Alaska. And they've done reports up here. And they claim when she slides off, she'll create a 400 foot tsunami, which will take out everything. But yeah, it's online. I mean, yeah, look at the, look at the fissures in here. The rock. Wow. Yeah. Look at all the different kinds of rock in this one big rock. You get different kinds here and there and there. All kinds of weird stuff. Wow. Wow, a geological amazing, geology so fascinating. What a piece of rock that one is with all the different varieties that are all squished up and, and now all falling apart. Yeah, close up of some of this rock. Look at this made up of all these different types of rocks and compressed together. It's amazing stuff. There's enough firewood laying there for me for I bet 10 years. I only burn about a quart a winter. Get a good full quart of dry firewood in Sitka is $600. Think of the amount of money that's just rotting away up here in the woods. Right next to a road. <laughs> yeah, Salmonberry has really grown up. Blocked all the water views. Probably the best time to come here is in the winter and in the fall. Leaves are off. Silver Bay. Oh, that area right up in there. Used to be one of my favorite deer hunting spots. We'd park in that bay over there and hike back up into that bowl where those little wispy clouds are, are coming coming out of right up in there. Yeah, he's parked a boat right up in here. Oh well, the good old days from hunting. Yeah, a few gray currents in here. Boy, they make good jelly. Well, there's Cross Mountain. I'm not quite down to the Medivigi Fish Hatchery. I have probably come in maybe a mile, mile and a half, but it's 
I'm really getting tired now and I think it's time to, to start heading back. Nice, nice walk back in here. I'm a little disappointed about seeing all the wasted firewood, but well, you know, that's that's America. But anyway, I'm sure gonna have to start working my way back because eh, the clouds are starting to close in behind me and I think back up towards blue like I see rain coming through. So anyway, and the other thing is in the summertime all this will be covered with uh, leaves, old salmon berry brush, and uh, your visuals out to the water will be pretty slim. About the only chance you have is to go down to a few places and uh, there's a few places you go down to the beach. It's high tide today but maybe in the spring, summer, low tide you can get out there on the beach and look around. So I'm going to head back up. Back up the road. Back on the road again. Yeah, clouds are starting to roll in. Low clouds and high clouds. Actually, I felt a couple of drops of rain. It's supposed to rain again tomorrow. Who would have guessed, huh? Anyway, I gotta get out of here. Got a good 30 minute to 40 minute walk with this thing. Get out of here. Water dripping all over. I think it's gonna rain. It's starting to drip on my head, too. Yeah, still some color around if you can find it. Hey, good deal. Another 30 days and the sun ball is coming back. I got snow and rain closing in all around me. I gotta get out of here. Huh, I wonder if that's a quartz vein up there all by itself. Let somebody run up there for me and check it out, see if there's any gold. Look at it, just like it's a tunnel or something. Big white chunk of quartz, I think, and it's big. And it's up there. Huh. I'm just below that white rock up there. It looks like a small piece of it here is broken off and rolled down the mountain. But it's not quartz. Well, it ain't ash. Unless it's like it's old ash. It's really old. Came with this rock. I mean, it's, it's hard. They're really hard. But it's not quartz. I don't know what that stuff is up there on that hill. Big chunk of it. That thing must be about 10 feet square. White rock like that. Right in the middle of a rock like this. Ah, strange. Oh well. I don't know if this is some kind of a... What? It's like a black goo coming out of the side of the mountain. Out of solid rock. What the heck? I'll get over there and see if we can get a closer look at it. Yeah, this is some kind of algae, algae or something that is, uh, it's turned black. I mean, it's black and shiny, just like oil. But I think it was some kind of algae that was growing here. Coming up on underneath that rock up in there. Boy, no wonder this mountain's about ready to fall down. It's just full of fissures and crack and busted rock that little shower we we're starting to get is starting to stop I haven't seen any whales or sea lions or nothing out in the water but then again the visibility here because all the trees is not good there are a few ducks out there but not much and I sure don't see the deer sign I used to see on this road there used to be tracks and trails running up and down all over the place, and I've seen one set of tracks, which is typical. I don't know what's happened to the deer here. Yeah, here's some of that, that 
heavy volcanic ash. It's all over the place, just like up at my house. There's still some color around if you look for it. Not a whole lot, but there's some. Yeah, here's an old stump here with all kinds of contrasts and colors. Let me pull back here and take a look at it. Pretty cool looking. Look at that. You couldn't paint that. What beauty. Yeah, it's starting to clear off pretty nice right now. I thought it was going to cloud up and rain. Rain's in the forecast, but right now we got a respite. I like this. Yeah, there's an eagle way over here. I don't have my tripod, so I don't see the eagles like you used to, but there's one here. And we got a 20 power here. Wow, it's getting really nice and pretty out here now. Getting a lot more sun. Wow, sure quiet out here. All I can hear is the drip drip of water in places. Coming down kind of a, that steep hill went up. Gotta take one's time here. Coming down. All I want to do is lose my hoopy cat here. I think this is the seeds of uh Goat's beard, I think. Not sure. Ha! Huh. A lot of it around here. Lots and lots of mountain views from this road. Especially in the wintertime here. All the snow. Let me dunk gun. Isn't that big quartz? From up on high up there. I guess it's quartz. <laughs> Looks like it. <sighs> oh man, it's hard. That's hard quartz too. Wow. Come from up there. Came down the mountain. There's some more rotten rock. Came off Bear Mountain. <laughs> Came off that big slide, came down. It looks like it just rotted. Like it's been cooked or something. God, that's weird stuff. Come down that mountain. Oh, yeah, peace. Come down off the mountain. I guess that's why this mountain is geologically a troublemaker, maybe. It's got so much different kind of rock on it. Different layers. Some of it's good, some of it's rotten. Oh, amazing stuff. Turning out to be an interesting and likely nice evening. Why don't they change the weather forecast? Well, look at that. We made it back to the gate. Back to the gate. Well, that was a fine walk for us uh, common people. 
<laughs> commoners who paid for the road. But we got a real problem here, folks. Come on, city of Sitka. Come out here and fix this problem. This has got to be wide enough for a wheelchair, which it is not. And if it's like wide enough for a wheelchair, I think about 32 inches, it's, it still closes it up enough that the guys can't come in here on their four-wheelers. I mean, you know, come on, folks. You know, fortunately for me, I can fold mine up, but if somebody in a wheelchair is just going to be out of luck. But this this would be a great a great little spot for somebody to take a wheelchair up. You know, the road's actually in pretty good shape if you miss the chuck holes. Not too steep in places. So, uh, this may be the end of my video. I hope you enjoyed it. But, come on. You know, let's fix this thing. It is a it is public money you're spending here. <laughs>